let's talk about snapper. It's supposed to be the biggest snapback string. It's octagonal. It's pretty. It's 17 gauge. It's lavender colored. We'll talk about it in terms of power, spin, comfort, and durability. But we'll also show you how we play compared to Wasabi Pink and Wasabi X. How much power does it give you? Um, it's weird. Like when I first play with it, it feels like the racket is lighter. Watch the launch angle as I strike the ball. Because really obvious when you show me hitting and I compare it to other strings. I'm hitting with my good friend who's actually really good. He's like 5'5". Five, five. But look at how the ball takes off on my forehand. Like it just pops up, man. It's like <laughs> power levels there. Comfort's there. It feels really soft. I hit the ball late. The ball still goes over. I have to swing fast. Um, when you swing slow, it just launches, which is normal. The real key is to set up early. I have a stop hit. My racket kind of stops and I drive through. And my friend's hitting really hard at me. But that's good to test your strings out against someone that hits it really hard. When you play a good gut Luxilan, that string works well when people hit hard. It doesn't work well when people hit soft. And then in comparison, we're going to try Wasabi Pink. Four-sided poly. Comes in pomegranate, green, and pink. I like the pink. It's kind of cool. Um, it's square. I think it has more power than the snapper. Snapper has a very snapback. Higher launch angle. I think, to me, the pink is more in the middle. Uh, spin. Snapper has a lot of spin compared to Wasabi Pink. Comfort. Snapper is soft, man. Wasabi Pink is also soft. And you can see the difference, but I'm also using a different frame. It, this is a pure arrow. And I'm a little bit more warmed up now. So, but you can see the launch angle as I strike the ball. The ball stays really tight. Much better launch angle. Um, this racket is an Aero Drive, 2013. It's an older racket, but um, it's, it feels heavier than the Pure Aero I was using earlier. And you can see when I hit the ball, like the ball is traveling much flatter. Um, what I find is the Toraline strings have really good response after string set. I think you need to hit for about 20 minutes or so. And then the string's set, and then you get a lot more power than normal. Because I get more power with this racket than I did with the other racket. And so that's kind of like why. I don't know why. Um, but the string feels good. I think Wasabi by itself has more power than Snapper. But I think Snapper has more spin. And you can see as we strike, I hit pretty much a, a medium flat shot. Backhand's flyer than my, back, my forehand. But the spin is there. The slice has really good grab. It's really noticeable on serves how much more break you have on the ball when you use the Toro line strings. You know, I find a lot of break and a lot of spin. And you can start seeing I'm starting to hit more spin. The ball is really taking off and really going up now. My suggestion, you know, for the price and the value, this is a really solid string. Because you can see it. As I strike the ball, it has a better launch angle. It's going much, it, I'm handling the power of my friend very well. And I can hit a little bit late and the ball will still grab. So between snapper and wasabi, they're very close together. Snapper is soft. So that's always a consideration. And you got to think about that. The next one we'll try is wasabi X, the blue. And that comes in a round format. And it feels a little bit more stiff. It is pretty. And it's 17 gauge also. A lot of the, all the strings are 17 gauge. Really quite interesting. The Wasabi Pro Hybrid is Wasabi X round with uh, Wasabi pink or green. So it's a octagonal. It's a four-sided string Wasabi with a round string. So they're hybrids. They, they match different shapes together. That's really interesting. I really like Wasabi Pro. We'll talk about that later. But when you compare it with Wasabi X, and you can see it here. Look at the launch angle. 
really good launch angle. Much tighter. I'm striking the ball with an arrow drive also, 2013, and it's going. As far as power, I think Wasabi X has more power than the um, Snapper and Wasabi, but it's nominal. Like if Wasabi X is a 10, then Wasabi is a 9, and Snapper is <coughs> 8.5. <coughs> as far as spin, I think Wasabi gives me a little more spin. Wasabi X is not as spinny, but I get more power. The ball drives more. Comfort, they all feel really good in my hand. When I play with Hyper G or I use uh, RPM Blast, it's too stiff on my hand. It hurts my hand. Uh, durability, I've only used these strings for about five hours, and they, they seem to maintain tension very well. What I like about the Toro line, besides the price, is the fact that Right about the third or fourth, third, fourth hour, the power level seems to go really high. And I don't have notches, so you, you have that nice snapback on the string. And you see it when you play with the string, it's really good snapback. As you can see, it drives really well. It even works very well on slice. So if you're looking for a string with really good feel and power and spin, of the three, Wasabi X is the most powerful. Wasabi's power is right next to it, and then Snapper. Snapper is the most comfortable. It feels so soft, man. Octagonal string, I guess. Uh, spin level is not bad. Of the three, I think Snapper and Wasabi have a similar spin. On the volley, because sometimes you want to see how the string responds to volleys. This is Snapper. And for some reason, I swear that the racket feels light. You can see the launch angle on the volley. But the other thing too, this is the first round of volleys against my friend Dan, and he hits really hard. So I think as time was going by, I was getting better, more used to the speed of ball. And so I was starting to volley better. Because when I switch rackets, you can see the volleys come off a little bit more crisp and solid. Yeah, even when I hit a little bit late and off, off frame. Still with the snapper, and I'm starting to volley better now. You know, he's hitting hard, but I'm starting to volley better. I'm starting to see the ball a little bit better. You want to try to string with ground strokes, volleys, and serve. Because <clears throat> there's no backswing on volleys. So now we go to the wasabi. And you can see with less movement, I seem to have more power. And the volley's coming off stronger. I think it's pretty obvious as you compare the video. I'm hitting the ball late too. He's hitting hard at me. And you can tell like when you do all three things, because the serve is a different motion. The volley is no backswing, so it's a slower swing. The ground strokes, you have a faster swing. You can see how the strings will react. And you can start seeing that I'm snapping the ball a lot better with the wasabi than I did with the snapper. But the snapper feels good in your hand, you know. Now I reverse it. I go to Wasabi X. And I'm hitting with Wasabi X. And I like this one because you can see, look at the launch, look at the spin. When my bike comes to net, you can really see how much better the string is too. See how the power of the, the, the ball takes off and goes really straight as I strike the ball. This is about half an hour, 45 minutes into the workout too, so a little bit, I'm really warm, a little bit tired. I, I, I honestly am a little bit tired. But th there it is again. I hit the ball late, catch on the rise, and the ball goes. I use a slice, the ball goes. To me, it, it plays much better than Hyper G and uh, Luxalon. And when my friend comes in net, you can see as I drive the ball at him, the response really high, really fast. So of the three strings, Wasabi X seems to have the most power. Nice response. It's hard for me to judge launch angle. You know, they, they talk about launch angle, but I'm not, I, I can't really judge that. That's not something I never really thought of. I can't tell by feel. And you can see the video to watch how I play. And you can judge how good the, the shot come off with each thing. 
Of the three strings, I think Wasabi is in the middle. It's a good starter because then you need to ask yourself, do I want more power? I can play with Wasabi X. Do I want more spin, touch, feel? I can go with Snapper. Caviar seems a little bit, little bit more powerful than Snapper. Then you have Wasabi, and then you have Wasabi X. But the hybrids together play amazing. Like Wasabi Pro Hybrid, Wasabi and Wasabi X together, that plays really powerful. It plays more, I think it plays more powerful than Wasabi X by itself. So check out the strings. Leave a comment if you have any questions. I want to show you what it looks like when you play with it. The frames are all pretty similar. They're all arrow drives or, or pure arrow. And thanks for listening. All right, that was our review of Toro Line, Wasabi, Snappa, and Wasabi X. Wasabi! Our discount code if you're in America or PM me directly if you're in Thailand. I'll hook you up. Asta.